What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Beer On With Jesse. Glad to have you back. It's time for another beer review. Today, we're going to be drinking... Great Basin Brewing Company's Icky IPA. I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce the dinosaur's name. I think it's. Well, I'm assuming by the icky part that it's Icky Sword? Right? Uh, I have no fucking clue. Icky Sword. Fuck it. Icky Sword. Icky IPA. This is actually, um. Oh, it's their IPA. And it comes in at a fucking 6.4% alcohol by volume. 6.4%. Cool. Sounds good to me. These guys are from Nevada somewhere. Oh, well, they have two locations. They have two brewery slash restaurant locations. They're located in Reno and Sparks, Nevada. So, yeah. Um, cool thing about this beer is my buddy uh, Jaime, not, not Jaime, you know, Jimmy Jimmy, the guy I always talk about, but our, our, well, we have another friend, a mutual friend. His name is also Jaime. We'll call him in Italian. We'll get more into that later. Uh, he hooked it up. <laughs> we probably won't. <laughs> okay. Point is, the other Hyman uh, took a trip up there, and he brought back some beers, and he gave me this guy so I could review it, you know? He says he, want, he wanted me to do a video on it. So, I'm going to do a fucking video on it. IPA, IPA glass. Let's pour this over, pour this in, and see what we get. Let's take a whiff, take a taste. Great, great basin, icky IPA. It is their India Pale Ale, a highly evolved brew, if they may say so themselves. Let's check this out, guys. Fuck it. Enough, enough with this fuckery. Let's, let's do this. Oh, first try. 100% real. Made in Nevada. Great basin brew company. This is the first beer I have from this brewery. I've actually, you know, not sound like a jerk or anything, but I've never heard of this beer before. Or this brewery, for that matter. Um, so I'm happy to have this be my first from them. Uh, Jaime, thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, fucking, uh, I don't know if you had this. I'm assuming you had it, Jaime. I'm assuming you're watching these fucking videos. Hope you're watching it. Uh, <laughs> if you had this, let me know how you liked it. Because you're about to find out how I fucking liked it. Ah, oh, dude, I act cuss too much, man. I gotta clean up my act. You know? Fuck. Uh, let's pour this in, let's... Gotta clean up my act. I guess it does fit all 12. <laughs> 12 ounces, guys. Fuck it. So what's your All right. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Look at this beer. I'm over here thinking stupid shit. Look at this fucking beer. Nice orange color to it. Nice finger. One of the finger thick head. White, puffy, bubbly. You can see the fucking the bubbles rising. So it's, um, has some pretty good combination going on from the looks of it. It looks badass. Nice, uh, uh Almost orange, like almost a light orange hue around the glass here. It looks great. It looks like a great beer. It looks like an IPA, you know, something that we're all used to seeing when it comes to um, IPAs. It looks badass, man. It looks like a fucking beautiful IPA. 6.2%, so it's, you know, that's about right. That's about average in this style of beer. Great basin, man. I wonder, now, again... I'm not too familiar with this brewery, or not at all. I wonder if this is like their thing, you know, dinosaurs. That'd be pretty badass. I'm gonna I'm look into these guys. That'd be pretty badass. I want to get more of their beers. Assuming this beer is good, of course. Even if it's not, I mean, you know, you you always have to have an open mind. I just try to see more of it, more more about it. Malt hops, yeast, and water. Fuck yeah, I love them already. <laughs> Alright, sorry guys. 
uh, as you may have noticed, this has not been the first beer of the night, nor will it be the last. And this, it hasn't been my first video either of the night. So, you know, look out for multiple videos coming out pretty soon. Um, let's get started, guys. Beautiful color. Let's get away for the aroma, man. Let's get away for the aroma. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I mean, it's a strong citrus notes on this. Grapefruit. Grapefruit's coming through pretty good. That smells really fucking good. Oh, that's a great smelling beer. Oh, that's fucking good. Oh, yeah. That smells really good, man. Hi, man. Thank you. That smells really good. Um. You guys know I love IPAs, man. The fucking smell on these guys, the taste, my fuel, everything, everything, man. They fucking everything. I just recently had a few of those uh, juicy IPAs, right? The Northeast, no, the, what is the, yeah, Northeast Coast fucking IPAs or whatever. You know, the juicy, really cloudy and thick, sweet IPAs. They're fucking good. <laughs> those are good too, man. Those are really good. Vermont isn't fucking around. Um, but with that being said, the ones that I tried were actually locally brewed here in LA. You know, I, I, I we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. Let's let's check this guy out. We'll get into the juicy IPAs in a bit. Just know, <laughs> it's all about the West Coast, of course, fucking of course. But uh, here you go, guys. Let, let, let's take a whiff first. Let's take a whiff. We already took a whiff. <laughs> Let's take another fucking whiff. Yeah, man, that smells really good. Uh, Let's take a taste. Salud, guys. Salud. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. All right, cool. Yeah, thumbs up, man. Thumbs up, man. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah? Okay, fuck yeah. Just look at the aroma. Sorry, guys. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> just look at the aroma. I'm getting strong citrus notes on the taste. <coughs> And it has a really bitter fucking mouthfeel to it. Really bitter beer. Really bitter IPA. Um, I'm not sure on the IBUs on this. I don't know if it has it on the bottle or not. Uh, shit, probably not. If any of you guys know what the IBUs are on this, I'd love to know. It's not, excuse me, nice and bitter. But even though it's nice and bitter, it's still pretty smooth. It's still fucking easy drinking. Oh, check out that lacing. Pretty good looking lacing around the glass, all right, badass. The grapefruit isn't coming through as much in the taste as I got it in the aroma, but it still tastes pretty great, man. It's a pretty good, it's a good tasting beer. I, love, I like it, I really like it. It's a great representation of the style. I mean, it's an IPA. It's more like an IPA. It tastes like an IPA. I mean, fucking good, guys. Great Basin, man. Good stuff. Great Basin. This is the first beer I have from you guys. Although I'm pretty sure you're not going to be watching this shit. But uh, this is the beer, first beer I have from you guys. But I'm definitely looking forward to drinking more from you. Great Basin, huh? Nevada. All right. I know some people in Nevada. Let's, 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 let's get this going, guys. <laughs> let's get this going. What the fuck? Uh, I mean, let's get these, uh, let's come in here. <laughs> Fucking, it's good stuff, man, good stuff. I mean, appreciate it, man, appreciate the beer. Definitely, man, thank you. Uh, icky, icky IPA. Sticky, icky. Icky IPA, that reminds me of Hop Concepts. Dank and sticky. Icky, dank and sticky. Ah, fuck, I still have problems with that beer. So yeah, um, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. 
all in all, overall, I think it's a pretty great beer. Fucking good. Um, as far as distribution is concerned, I don't know if we get these guys out here. Um, fuck, great basin, huh? I don't know if we have them out here. I'm sure we do. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you'll be able to find them here in LA. Um, again, I mean, I, I haven't really been keeping my eyes open for him, so I can't say that I've seen him. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would recommend this. I would highly recommend picking up this beer if you see it out there on the shelf, or if you're in, you know, Nevada, in Reno, or Sparks. Um, pick this up, guys. Good IPA, solid, great representation of the style. Love it, man. Good stuff. Looking forward to see what else these guys make. I mean, I, I'm serious about that. I'm, I'm gonna go out there and look for this stuff, man. Definitely, no fuck yeah. Hope you guys send this stuff to California, LA, to be more exact. If you do, I'll be on the hunt for it. And other beers, not just this one, but other beers as well. Look at the little dinosaur. It's like one of those swimming dinosaurs on the ocean. <laughs> what the fuck? No oh, shit. All right. Thanks again, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. I really hope you, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed drinking this beer. And I definitely enjoyed drinking this beer. Oh, and we're talking about juicy IPAs. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna get one, bring it out here, and we'll talk about those then. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. We have a lot more coming up. I have a lot more uh, written blog reviews that I'm working on, so I'll check those out. And we'll also have videos, a lot more videos coming up. A lot of good stuff out there, guys. A lot of good stuff. I have some beers, a couple IPAs that I've been sitting on for the videos. You know, I kind of got to get to them quick because I don't want them to go past their prime, their IPAs. You shouldn't really sit on them that long. So I'll keep an eye out for those IPAs. Um, this is one of them. And I said, fuck that. I'm not sitting on this any longer. And I'm glad I did it because it's fucking good. Salud.